yeah hello guys um this is the my phone clinic um today um i'll be discussing on what to do when your dead laptop is having backlight problem so um so i decided to shoot this video for you guys to know what to do when you are fixed with this kind of problem now um, there are two things in consideration that you must that I must talk about on this video. So if you, are, if you are talking about backlight problem, say there are two things you must put into consideration. One, it's either the fuse you can see it's either the fuse is bad, then or two, it's either the capacitor, the cap, one of the capacitor on the on the um, screen board is faulty or is short so those are the two things you must you must put into consideration but the question is how do i locate my how do i locate my fuse and how do i know that my fuse is faulty now look at this um, tk fuse that's that's you can see the capacitor is very close to the tk fuse so um like the one we have here you can see i've already um, removed the capacitor that was short so if the capacitor is short when you use your testimeter the, the plus and minus side of the capacitor will be bp on the testimeter when your testimeter is set on buzzer mode and if you want to know if your fuse is working you have to um check with your testimeter by put by setting your by setting or tune your testimeter to buzzer mode if your fuse is bp on the testimeter that means your fuse is working but if it's not beeping that means it's faulty like the one we have there like all those components i've already replaced it although my camera does i did not cover the video coverage on that so what i need to do that i have to get my old dell laptop you can see this is my old dell laptop that i've abandoned for years so when the customer brought a dell laptop that was having backlight issue so i had to since since instead of me going to an electronic store to get the components since i have a 40 day laptop so i just have to lose the screen and um, i lose the screen then um, i i took out the um the capacitor that i need to replace after detecting that the capacitor was short and the fuse was faulty so i I replace it from the old screen. This is my old screen of the old Dell laptop, and that's my um, um, that's my new screen. Like the one I'm holding now, you can see the one I'm holding. That's my old screen of my old Dell laptop that was having issue. But let's leave that. So now, um, this is my new new um, Dell laptop that the customer brought that it was showing but the backlight wasn't working so we had to lose it and replace the necessary capacitor like i said i didn't do a video coverage on that but i said put two things into consideration see that your fuse is faulty and how do you know your fuse is faulty i've explained it before if you test it if you tune your testimeter on buzzer mode your fuse must be bp on the testimeter if it does not be beep so that means it's having issue then you have to check for shorts on the screen panel you can see that's the screen panel where there is components in it so you check for shorts because at times the board might be short so you check for shorts to know if if there is any um cap or capacitor more than one or two so check for shorts to know if they're short on the board so if you notice they're short on the board after troubleshooting and you you've seen the calves are short you can remove and your problem is being solved so now i'll be testing so you can see on the video that after testing the, the screen was working properly because the screen was touchpad it's touchpad screen So, um, guys, um, if you 
are new to this channel um i want to say you're yeah, welcome to this channel this is the my phone clinic so um don't forget to um subscribe and if this video is helpful and don't forget to like also and if you are a returning subscriber i want to appreciate you guys for always for always um supporting us i want to say a big thank you to you guys and um so we'll be stopping here so don't forget this to take my phone clinic <laughs>